Friends, it is finally time to pack for Disney. I cannot wait. I am so ready. Let's get into some clips I have taken of packing. If you haven't watched the other videos in the series, my boyfriend and I are going to be going to Disney for an eight, nine day vacation. We are going to each of the parks for one day. We are going to be staying at Port of New Orleans Riverside and then also at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. We are going to celebrate our anniversary mostly because we'll be there for our seven year anniversary, but then we are also celebrating both of our birthdays, which are kind of around the same time. And we are just really excited. It's finally time to pack and I wanted to share those videos with you. So this video is going to be done in a couple parts. I have all of our main stuff pulled up here, all the suitcases that we're bringing, all the like random things that we can pack right now. We are about a little over a week out but I'm actually gonna be gone for like four and a half days to watch my dog my dad's dogs while he's out of town for some extra vacation shopping money so I'm gonna pack as much as I can now just because I'm gonna be gone and then whenever I get back it will be like all the clothes and the rest of the toiletries and all those things but we're gonna pack as much as we can right now I believe I already showed you all my luggage. So my luggage is the purple set. There's a small one, a medium one, and then the large one is like laying out. I also have borrowed my mom's set, which is the exact same as mine, just in orange. And we're gonna use her small purple, or her small orange, and then her medium orange. And I am gonna be that person and double pack a suitcase. I thought that I was gonna pack like a duffel bag in one of these just to, um, be collapsible and unpack when we got there and when we were coming back but I really don't want to check a duffel bag I'd rather have something with a hard case and we get two free bags because we chose Southwest so we are going to just go ahead and pack a bag in a bag and then we'll be able to just fill this extra one with like our dirty clothes and then have a little bit more freedom as far as like souvenirs and packing stuff on the way back so for the two carry-on size, we will each have one of those with our clothing in it, just because we'll have all of our clothes with us. We'll be able to take them immediately with us in case anything happens. We'll just have all of our clothes and all of the things. Um, these are the boyfriend's packing cubes. I've already packed his bathing suits and then started his like, what is it, like quart size bag with all of his whatever toiletry things. And then these are my packing cubes as well as some things that are going to go into my backpack, but I can't pack those yet because I am taking my backpack to my dad's. All of this is stuff that needs to go in the respective two other suitcases, so the medium one and then the large one over here. Uh, it's going to be shoes, toiletry things, park things, uh, what else, room things, accessories, all that kind of stuff. So. We need to get these put into some sort of order and get them in the bags. So I already have workout clothes done and then I also have my bathing suits in here as well as a bathing suit cover up. So I have three bathing suits and a cover up. So that will go in here. These are just empty packing cubes for right now. I'm assuming that like my sweatshirts and sleeping clothes will go in this medium bag just because already this is like getting full i also went ahead and started my like undergarment bag so all of this is just stuff that i know i'm gonna need um for certain outfits but i still will have to wait a little bit to throw in like my everyday underwear and socks so that will also go in here somehow but for the most part this is all just going to be clothing and whatever overflow we have will go into that other bag. I already showed you this little bag that has our magic band stuff in it, so all of that will obviously go. I'm gonna bring this in my carry-on just because I don't want to lose these. I have my little travel wallet. I went ahead and printed off our resort confirmations and like everything where it shows we have like a zero balance and all that just in case and then when we get closer i'll put in like our cards and well not our i'll put in my cards my id any other like cash or like spending money i want to throw in here so this just holds like 
a little bit more things and it's a little bit bigger so I don't feel like I can lose it. I also have my quart bag so I have like a little bit like a reusable one and right now I have stuff in here that won't really be in here it's just gonna go into my backpack but gum, a chapstick, wet wipes, uh, post-it notes. I don't think I'll need to bring this eye mask so I might take that out but we'll see. So that is all in here and will get transferred into my backpack when we get closer. And then I have my little travel journal thing. I'm hoping to write in this some more. It's got stuff from our last trip to Orlando, um, a cruise with my mom, a little anniversary trip we did to um, Tennessee. So I'm hoping to put some more in here. And then I also put those temporary tattoos in here so that they have a safe place to stay. I also packed this 31 jewelry little organizer. So I don't wear earrings, so I don't have anything up here, but I just clipped this little bracelet. It's like a little, little sunflower bracelet. So I just clipped that up here and then I put all of my necklaces and um, other watch bands in these individual bags. And then I also have one more bracelet. I'm bringing a couple different band options for my Garmin because I can quickly change them out and it'll go with outfits and then it will also go with the puck holders that I got for our magic bands and I have an extra set of my silicone like gauges in case anything happens. Next thing I can definitely take care of are shoes so I'm going to be bringing uh, two different sandals just a brown and a black pair pretty pretty normal I put all of our shoes in these shoe bags and I can usually fit like multiple pairs so throw those in there and I'm also bringing these just for the pool I'm also taking this pair of tennis shoes I'm gonna pack this one and then I'll be wearing a different pair so I'll throw these in here and then I'm also going to put in my brown wedges. I'm also just really going to pack our park bags like right now we're pretty much going to be done, like having, we have to put all this stuff in the bag anyway so I'm just going to pack it in the bag. Uh, we both have a rain jacket that slides into this little back pocket. We both have an umbrella which is not only for the rain but also for any time that the like queue doesn't have overhead coverage. I don't want to be standing in the sun for however long the wait is. That is the, this one's going to be the boyfriend's bag. So I'm not entirely sure what else he will want in here, but that is how I feel like I'm going to pack mine. So this bag will be the boyfriend's. So I'm going to wait because I think he's going to carry more like the technology stuff. So any of the like tripods or chargers or anything like that. And he'll also have his little phone uh, or his 360 camera. So we'll bring that. But as far as my bag, I have in here, I have the umbrella, I have my rain jacket. I do have my fan and he will have a fan too that I need to grab. And then I have a bag of like all the medicine -y kind of things like a chafing stick, Pedialyte, uh, band-aids just in case, glasses wipes, any of our um, like headache medicine, allergy stuff or whatever, deodorant wipes, uh, my little baby thing of Tums, and a Tide stick. So I will have the kind of like medicine-y type things. We're also going to be bringing hand sanitizer and like chapstick and then I will have uh, my sunglass case or my well yeah I will have my sunglasses case but I will also have my contact case in here I think that is in my other bag so that'll have to wait that might be th thrown into my like carry-on backpack and then I also have the sunscreen hand sanitizer and some little wet wipes. So my park bag is pretty much packed. All I'll have to really put in here is just like uh, sunglasses and such. So there is that. Oh, I was gonna throw in, I grabbed a couple of these bags. 
I was just gonna throw a couple of these in just in case there's anything that needs to go into a bag. I was also thinking of throwing in a pair of socks in here, but we'll see how we feel when we get there. We can do that later. Oh, he's gonna have this towel, which they said to keep in the packaging, but I'm like, I'm not carrying that around the park. Maybe I'll just put it in one of these. All right, so we have bags, we have this little towel. I don't really think there's gonna be a whole lot else that we can throw into here. Again, chargers and his little camera, sunglasses, pretty much our park bags. Oh, and I also have this, which I showed in my like what I bought thing. And oh, here's my contact thing. So I'll have my little contact case. I might put my chapstick in here and then I'll have my phone little phone storage as well. So there is all that. Park bags are gonna go in that medium bag. I'll probably throw these in to pack, just, I don't know, in case we need extras. I also have this bag and I cannot remember if I've shown all of this. I think I showed this already, but it's basically just like, Extra hand sanitizer, extra sunscreen, um, some aloe, extra wet wipes. These little like bigger containers, I have extra Tums to fill the small baby cute container that I got. And then I also have some melatonin in case we are just restless and we can't get to sleep. So that will be packed into this big bag. So shoes on this side, he'll obviously have a few pairs of shoes that we will throw in here. I have extra shoe bags. And then on this side, we just have that big toiletry bag. This is another 31 thing. It's a really nice size tote bag. I figured we'll bring this for the pool or like the day that we're switching resorts. Might be nice to have a few extra things in here. So I'm just gonna lay that. This is his toiletry bag, which we have a few things in his shampoo, deodorant and all that, but he will need to pack this later. And then I am all about pouches, so I have a bunch. This one, all this black studded one, always has our travel wine opener, just in case there isn't one in like wherever we're at. There's this little, it's like a pampered chef and it opens up into a full wine opener. And then we also always pack our like wine pump so if you don't drink it all or if you're moving like locations or whatever you can have it uh, sealed up and it won't leak so we pack that this is always this little black studded bag is always our wine um fixings bag and since i'm double packing these i'm just gonna slide some things in between them that will completely fit there fine this blue one is all those extra deodorant wipes in case we need to add more. So I got these little deodorant wipes off of Amazon. So we'll throw those up top too. This black like lace bag is always our glasses wipes. So this is all full of glasses wipes. I wear glasses and then obviously we both have sunglasses. So we'll need to be refilling our bag all the time with these. This is our Pedialyte pouch. So all of those Pedialytes that I ordered, I just shoved in here. This little felt guy is always our medicine. So it's pretty much always full of things, but it has my inhaler for when I can't breathe. Some random medicine like Mucinex and stuff so we don't have to wait. Um, until like maybe morning if we get any of those issues. This just always gets thrown in. Like we have a couple pouches that just always get chucked into our bags whenever we travel. So they're always ready. This is one of them. This is another one. This is our laundry stuff. So we just always throw this in. It's got individual tied pouches as well as tied pods some wrinkle release, a Tide stick, and then it's got two laundry bags back here. So we will throw our dirty clothes in there. And again, we just keep this packed. Okay, for our last 
bag, we will have our park bags. Throw those in. Um, I'm just gonna throw these in here because we might want some extra freezer bags for something, I don't know, snack or whatever. This is another 31 bag. I didn't realize that I had so many of them, but it's um, one of those like insulated ones for your hair straightener or curler. So both of my straightener and curler will be put in here and it will go into there. This is a like really nice Victoria's Secret bag that I got on the top. It has a place for makeup brushes and then I have my beauty blender case in here that I just got. And then I put all my makeup up here because I really don't have that much. So just like a concealer, eyebrow gel, whatever. And then down on the bottom is where I put any like full size stuff I'm going to be bringing. So this is a full size face wash because we both use this. I guess it's not full size, but it's bigger than what can fit in my little thing. I also have some um, skincare in here and all of that stuff. Anything that just doesn't fit in my regular toiletry bag will go in here. I think I am going to go ahead and put toiletries in here. We'll also have my boyfriend's fan, which should fit really nicely right here. And other than that, I think it's just clothing. So I have to wait a few days until I get back from my dad's, but I leave day after tomorrow. I leave day after tomorrow to go to my dad's. And then when I get back from my dad's, we leave in three days. So I'm trying to do what I can now. I completely forgot that also going in this medium bag with like our little park bag and toiletries is going to be my ears. So I have four pairs of ears in here as well as my boyfriend's hat with his little ear attachments that need to go. So this box will also be in here. So we are packing with we are so we are packing with room but we are also packing a lot of things so i feel pretty good about bringing an extra suitcase but yes i think that's it for right now and i will see you all next week when it is official official packing time we are putting clothes in we are getting it together Okay, I'm back from my dad's and it is time to finish the rest of the packing. We've pretty much got everything ready. We're waiting on a couple things to do some laundry, but I think I have all of my main items and I think I'm going to go ahead and try to get things put into some packing cubes. Um, I did change a few things from my outfit video, so I was going to show you those really quickly and get packing. So in my clothing video, I said I was going to wear these. Oof pants with like a white bodysuit to Magic Kingdom. I might still do that, but I was also thinking that I'm going to wear some dresses to the parks. I wasn't going to do that, but I think I'm going to. So I have this sunflower dress and since the ears that I was going to wear to Magic Kingdom are sunflowers, I thought this could be cute to wear like all together. So we will see how that goes. I was also thinking that I would wear both of the outfits because we're gonna go to Magic Kingdom for most of the morning, but then we're gonna go over to Epcot. So I could go like back to the room, do a refresh and then change into the pants for like more of the evening time. So I'm gonna bring both of these outfits and there's a possibility I might wear this to Animal Kingdom with my matching ears. Another thing that changed is my aunt got this dress and it was like they sent her the wrong size. So she gave it to me. It's just really cute like blue kind of flowy dress that I thought would match my Moana ears that I was going to wear to Hollywood Studios. So I may wear this dress to Hollywood Studios. It's going to be hot. It might be nice to have a dress for a couple of the park days. So I'm going to bring this as well. I'll still also have the shorts and tank tops if I want to wear those to the park. It's just going to depend on how I feel. For the main clothing video, I was just showing you outfits that I knew I was going to wear to like specific kind of events on vacation, but I've also added in just some extra tops, um, a couple extra dresses just to have options in case I'm not feeling something. I don't want to be forced to wear something I'm not feeling lovely in. So I grabbed this from, I think this was a Kohl's. Yeah, I got this from Kohl's. It's like this little waffle kind of cropped long sleeve. I think I might wear this um, home at the airport coming home because it's going to be pretty warm, but I run cold sometimes. So I wanted to bring some long sleeves. I also got 
this really cute little Van Gogh shirt. My boyfriend had this watermelon shirt and he thought that it was a large, but it's actually a small. So I'm gonna take that for myself and I'm gonna be bringing that. Just a couple extra t-shirts and tank tops and such. So I have lots of options. I am also bringing an extra pair of leggings. I think I'll bring, I'm gonna bring two pairs, but I think I'm gonna bring one or wear one on the plane home. So I'll have one pair of leggings to wear there. And then I also have this thing, which is just like so comfy and go, it's just like a large oversized denim shirt, which sometimes I just throw over different things when I'm cold. I'm gonna bring a comfy little sweatshirt that will pretty much match anything, like even my dresses if I wanna throw that on. I have just a plain black cardigan and then, oh, my Ratatouille sweatshirt, which that's just a sweatshirt because it's cute. I'm just going to bring that because I want to have it. But yeah, I think this is my main clothing options. I'm trying to think what we have in the washer right now and if it's anything that would be added to this, but I really can't think of anything. So I think I'm going to go ahead and throw all this into packing cubes. I just remembered what is in the laundry, all of our like sleeping clothes and sweatpants. So that'll be the last thing that I pack. Um, yeah, but I think that's all that's in there. I was trying to really think. I think that's it. It'll just be sleep clothes that will be packed from the current laundry. So this should be all, all most of my clothes. Things have taken a turn and I'm freaking out a little bit. My original plan was to pack this orange suitcase inside the purple one, right? Well, my shoes are taking up most of this spot. My clothes are taking up most of that. This is my carry-on that's supposed to hold all of my clothes. That didn't happen. So basically, boyfriend has like that little corner and then his orange <laughs> carrying case for his like clothes and toiletries and shoes. I don't know if that's enough room. I could take this out and like pack everything and then we would have five suitcases, which is what we were going to have coming back anyway. But I was just trying to make the trip there a little bit easier. I don't know. I need to really go through my shoes. I'm bringing a shit ton of shoes. So maybe I'll go through that and see if that is helpful. I was able to fit majority of my clothes in this small suitcase like I wanted, my carry-on suitcase, so I have all of my tops, my workout clothes, and my, what are these, like underwear and all those things, a sweatshirt, all of that is another sweatshirt, and then my big like packing 
bag, like kind of my second half of the trip packing cube. Um, and this one will be the boyfriend's shoes, his fan, my toiletries, our kind of like shared items, laundry stuff and like sunscreen and all that. Um, a couple little bags that I'll be bringing. Um, my shoes are under here. And what else? Oh, our ears. Well, my ears, his hat ears. All of that is in here. Uh, that one is completely empty as of right now. For boyfriend's carry-on, I'm thinking this will be all of his tops and like sleeping clothes. This will be all of his bottoms. And then this will be his underwear. And then he also has, or underwear and socks. And then he also has his swimming like bottoms in there. So all of his stuff in theory should fit there if he's saying how he's saying. This one has our park bags with park stuff in them. My big thing of toiletries, because this... Okay, this is why I feel like I'm crazy. This one is like shampoo, conditioner, face stuff. Um, and then this one is more like hair care things, a little bit of makeup, um, like specific face scrub things, stuff like that, that I don't always bring places, like that I don't always need. But if I'm going longer than a weekend, I usually need. And then over here, that will be my sleep clothes and anything else I need to shove in there my bathing suits, and then this, my house shoes, which are going to come with us. And then this is that first packing cube for like the first half of the trip. So I don't know what I was doing. I think I just was not thinking about packing. I haven't packed in years now since it's been so long since we've been able to do a vacation. But in theory, everything should be fitting nicely. And I should be able to throw that throw this suitcase back into that suitcase so we don't have to have so much going out. Oh, that was a rough like hour and a half, guys. Um, at this point, this is what we're looking like. Um, I will maybe do a carry-on. I'm not sure, like a carry-on packing type of thing with our backpacks, but I'm not sure how that's going to work. So either way, this is where we're looking right now. I'm feeling significantly better and I just had a mild breakdown. I really need a vacation, friends. Okay, I think vacation is just sitting close and I'm delirious or something. I was just not using all of my available space that I could have been using this entire time. So I think I have everything pared down. Depending on how much boyfriend packs, we will still be able to throw that one suitcase into the empty like large suitcase. I'll show you here in a second. But as long as his clothes are fitting how I think they will, and I think that they will because he doesn't pack like I do, uh, we should be back on track completely. And I'm just, I literally think delirious and hungry and ready for the vacation to happen. Things have been brought downstairs. It's getting serious. So this is that small purple suitcase with all of my clothes. I have like tops and dresses. No, wait, what is this? Dresses and shorts, something. Clothes, clothes. A couple like pool hats, my little Kate Spade purse, um, a couple of sweatshirts. In this big one, it's a purple giant with a purple medium in the middle. And in here we have our park bags that are both pretty much packed, bathing suits, my hair care and like makeup. This is all of my other toiletries like body stuff and all of that. On this side, I have more clothes, bathing suits, little shorts for under dresses, sleep clothes, workout clothes, and my house shoes. I think that's bottoms. I honestly can't remember what's happening. So this will be zipped up and packed as like one giant suitcase. And then when we come back, we'll have this for like everything that we need to bring back or just if everything is like shuffled around a little bit so that's those two this one will be my like carry-on bag my carry-on suitcase this will be checked that's the boyfriend's clothes I'm not going to get into like his stuff but um yeah that is the boyfriend's clothes which will be the same thing as this our like carry-on bag the other checked bag the other check bag that we're bringing, so we're going to have two. This is another medium. It's the orange one. All the orange ones are my mom's. I borrowed those. But in this one, I have 
everything. This is all of my polish things. I ended up switching to my bigger um, travel bag if you saw my nail video just because this will hold everything. So I have this one that has a big insert that goes in here and then I have the little one that I showed that has the small insert. So I took the small insert out, put it in here, and then I have this little space where I can put polish remover. I'm gonna bring a set of gloves in case I wanna do an oil treatment, and then the rest of my press-ons. So I just switched to this big one because it has like double layer and fits everything. This little pouch has I think deodorant wipes, laundry stuff, hair straightener, the boyfriend's hat for his ears, my shoes, Pedialyte, wine opener, glasses wipes, my extra purse, medicine, and then that is our bag with like all of our sunscreen and stuff. So this side is mostly like our things, like stuff that we're both gonna be using. And then this whole side is pretty open. And the only thing in here right now is his toiletry bag, his fan, and one pair of my shoes. And then he'll put his shoes on this side. So it's pretty open over there. Um, this one is basically ready to go downstairs. I'm just waiting for his toiletries after tonight slash the morning and his shoes. And then the only other thing that's like I need is my backpack. So this will be my personal item. I have tissues on this side. I have <laughs> just a hair clip. And then I'm bringing my cute little Ratatouille like 3D printed, oh, 3D printed little chef hat. It like lights up and it's really cute. I just wanted to bring it because like what better place to have it than Disney. But that little 3D thing, I have like my wallet, my phone, gimbal -y thing, some headphones, uh, sunglasses, a selfie stick with a remote. I know I can't take this into Disney, I'm pretty sure, but this we can take this to Disney Springs or filming around the resort. Over, what are these? So these are my like pods and then these are over the head headphones. Magic band stuff. I love this backpack. It fits so much crap. Ooh. Um, My little, what is this? Like quart size liquid bag. I ended up moving my ears to my backpack just to save some room and they fit really well. I have my little jewelry case down there. And then back here is just gonna be cords. I have a pouch for all my cords and my laptop. So that will be back there. I'm trying to think, oh, I have a little, a pouch of masks. So a bunch of masks in there. And yeah, I think that's it. I think the next time I will see you all is for vlogs. I think that's it on the packing front. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them either in the vlogs or just in the comments, but I think we're done. As you're watching this, we are on vacation. I'm so excited. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of these kind of pre-Disney videos. Vlogs will be coming of the trip when we get back and I am hopefully having a really good time.